Jellyfin, a media server service, is a fully open-source media server that allows users to stream locally stored media files to various devices. This time we will deploy the container by Docker Compose. Open the Docker app, click Project. Create now. And enter the project name. A corresponding folder will be automatically generated in the Docker directory as the storage path. You can choose to import the Compose configuration from NAS or your local computer, or configure it yourself. For detailed parameter explanations, please refer to the Help Center. After confirming the configuration file is correct, click Deploy. The system will automatically pull the Jellyfin image based on the YAML file and start the container. After a successful deployment, you can access the Jellyfin dashboard within the local network via a browser at HTTP NAS IP 9096. After entering the Jellyfin page, proceed with the initial configuration. The preferred display language is set to English by default. And click Next. Create a personal username and password. And click Next. Skip media library setup for now, and click Next. The preferred metadata language and country slash region do not need to be changed, and click Next. Remote access settings can be left as default, click Next. Complete the initial configuration, click Finish, and you will be redirected to the login page. Log in with the administrator account and password you just created. Click the icon in the top left corner to enter the console and start creating a media library. On the server's playback page, configure hardware acceleration by selecting QSV, Quick Sync Video. The volume for the container and the configured file slash folder paths are for reference only. You can create them according to your personal preferences. It is recommended to keep the container port and the local port consistent for web access. If there is a local port conflict, change it to an unused port. For non-web access, the default setting is fine. The local ports between containers must not be the same, port conflicts will prevent the container from starting. The quick access web links are only accessible in bridge mode.